Hi everyone. I have been getting some great feedback from you from these videos and I want to say thank you. I've been hearing from you that you feel more connected than ever to our partners and that's great. I've been hearing from you that you have a deeper understanding of what it is that we as a church family are really engaged in in terms of mission. I consider these huge wins and so thank you. It got me thinking there's a number of things that we've talked about here, but there's still some things that we've not mentioned at all. And so I wanted to just bring light to one of those things today. So each year at Christmas time during Advent, we actually, we launch our Christmas Compassion Campaign. And during that time, what we were doing is we're actually raising funds to fulfill our commitments to our partners in Haiti, Rwanda, Uganda, and Central Alberta. What you may not know is that during that time, we're also setting aside some of that funds to actually be set aside for relief and disaster response. So what that means is that when we have something like in Haiti, there's a hurricane, we are in a position where we can respond quickly and we can respond in a way that doesn't interrupt any of our regular um, gifts. And so this is huge. So in the past, we've been able to give to a number of different organizations during the years. This particular year, we've already needed to dip into that fund twice. And so I wanted to give you just a bit of an update on how that has been going and what the money has been used for. So the first one, you'll remember a couple months ago, our partner in Lebanon, um, Bridges of Love. If you can remember this incredible blast that happened in Beirut, and it was so devastating. And we saw the images on the news. It was crazy what was happening there. We were able to send money to our partner. And what that has done is they've been able to do three different things really with that money. One is they've been able to actually put in uh, food packs for families. They've been able to actually seal the homes of people as they are preparing for winter. And so they actually have, as you saw all the incredible devastation of the glass that was blown out, because winter's coming in, they were able to actually put those windows back in and seal those homes so that they're not exposed to the elements. Finally, they've been able to give in terms of medical supplies and medicine. And so that's been a huge help for them. And so on behalf of Bridges of Love, I just wanna say thank you. Now, more recently, you saw the devastating news in Lesbos in Greece. You saw the incredible devastation as Moria camp burned to the ground. And we, as a partner with Hellenic Ministries, wanted to respond. And so again, because we had that money already set aside and earmarked for responses like this, we were able to send money. And I wanna let you know where it's headed. So in case you haven't seen the new camp that's been built, it's incredible. So what happened is right after the fire, they actually, the police and the military and all the different organizations that have been serving in this context pulled together their resources, their people, their labor, and they worked extremely, extremely hard to build this new camp. It's in a new location. It's in a much bigger space than before. And it's, it's looking incredible as you see from these images. So what we've been able to help with is what they call NFIs or non-food items. So if you can imagine, you've lost almost everything in a fire and now you're being resettled to a new area. These families need these things like soap and diapers and clothing and blankets and tarps, all these essential items. And so this is where our money has gone and I believe that's a great place for it to be. So again, on behalf of our partners, I wanna say thank you. Now keep in mind, it's not just about the money. It's also about your prayers. And I know you've been hearing over and over what an impact your prayers have. Remember when we spoke to Jonathan, he gave a couple weeks ago in the video, he gave this request that we would pray that even through the masks, people would see their smiles. And then we heard right after that, that Pastor Dan gave the update that he had heard from Jonathan from the team there, that that's exactly what's happening. People from the UN and others are noticing that even through the barriers of the masks, that their team is seen as different. They're seen as people who bring joy and hope and their smiles are being seen even through the masks. And so I just wanna recall that again, just for us, so that we don't forget the power of our prayers. Now, one last thing I wanna just share, just an update before I go today. And that is, if you can recall a couple weeks ago, Pastor Dan spoke about this need for Bibles in Ethiopia. He shared that one of our partners had given this report of these church planters that had been sent out in the incredible response, which has allowed so many people to come to know Jesus. But the challenge was they didn't have enough Bibles. So I want you to know that that was our partner, uh, Empower Ministries, and we've been working with Ron Pierce. And what we've been able to do is take this year's gift, which we have every year designated for our partners. We have our certain 
um, budget set aside. And so our gift for Empower this year has just been sent and it's being directed specifically to Bibles in Ethiopia. And so I just wanted to give you these updates so that you know where the money is going that you give us and that you know that we work through trusted partners and that we have a good team that's working on this. And so I just wanna say again, thank you. Now this week as we pray, I'm just asking that you would pray for those three partners that I've talked about today. Keep praying specifically for Bridges of Love in Lebanon. Keep praying specifically for Hellenic Ministries in Greece. And please keep praying for Empower Ministries as they continue to work in Ethiopia. Thank you so much. Together we are making a difference in the kingdom.